Hello, my name is Alex Isles and welcome to Mailman in Northumberland. And in today's episode, we're going to discuss how Bronze Age people lived. Because Bronze Age settlements, generally in Northumberland, what we find is that there were around about six roundhouses in a settlement. These had been cut into the hillside, and when they've been cut into the hillside, what we find is that they built a platform into the hillside, so it was all flat. Then they built the structures on top of that, and when they built the structure on top of it, they then would have their houses in there. We also see nearby to, nearby to their houses, they would also have paddocks for their livestock as well. And these would then be used to lo keep animals in those areas nearby to their housing. Following on from that though, they would have terraced farms built into the side of the hills and then they would manage the land as well, keeping some as pasture land, some as uh, agricultural land where you obviously you would have your farming in the terraces and farming on the land around it. And then some areas as well would be set aside specifically for ritual sites as well. So because of that, the Bronze Age landscape would see these little clusters of about six plus houses, which were then cut into the hillside with platforms on them and people would live in and around those sites. And then as they lived in and around those sites, they would then be able to slowly and steadily build up the area so that you would have more and more agriculture in and around this location until eventually they would take over the whole surrounding region and you'd see a full change in the way it went from being quite a heavily wooded um, sort of like Neolithic landscape with small farms to being a Bronze Age landscape with larger farms and much more land maintenance over the whole area. Another thing we see in the Bronze Age is a strong demarcation of land. These people start to say, right, okay, this land belongs to this community, this land belongs to another community. There's a lot of use of field systems, we see paddocks for animals, and it's a much more structured landscape, whereas in the Neolithic, they would just farm the land that they needed to survive. The Bronze Age cultures are saying, this land belongs to me, this land belongs to my family, this land is very, very much a part of my territory and so we can see that with the field systems and how various different settlements would clearly mark out where their land was and alongside this as well they start to build over the top of previous Neolithic settlements so the field systems that the Neolithic people built in their farming terraces weren't always seen as useful so they would build over the top of them and they would provide a new landscape as well and they would build paddocks nearby for their livestock and they would start farming using terraced farming into the hillsides so that they would have plenty of space and increase the amount of space by roughly about a third in some cases by having additional terraces so that they would be able to grow more and more food for their families and therefore because they grew more food they would be able to expand and those villages slowly spread across all of the hills in Northumberland here and they can be seen frequently in Northumberland National Park but following on from that they then started to expand out into the lowland areas and the main push into the lowland areas was because of climate change Around about 1200 BC, obviously I've mentioned this in another video, the fact is the climate shifted dramatically to a colder, wetter sort of climate. And when it became a cold, wet climate, what we start seeing is that they are pushed off the hills. You can no longer live up there, it's just too cold and you aren't able to grow there anymore. So they start abandoning that landscape and they come down into the lowland areas here and start farming. And so they start building Bronze Age farms in and around the lowland region and you don't see the upland region being occupied again until around about 800 BC when you start seeing the construction of more wooden palisade hill forts in the upland regions because the world has warmed up again after that little dip. So when you see those upland areas, um, that's now moving into the Iron Age and we have a new elite in place because over a couple of hundred years, we've seen a transition from the Bronze Age elite through to the Iron Age elite, changing from a bronze-based economy right the way through to an iron-based economy and food-based economy, which again transforms the way people farm in that period. 
when they've analyzed the Bronze Age houses, they've also found waste pits, which were full of Bronze Age pottery, broken pottery, animal bones, and also evidence of cooking wheat and barley and things like that. So they've still got a very agrarian lifestyle. They're eating uh, a lot of uh, bread, and they're also eating a lot of meats as well. And so these people are living in and around this area, trying to make the best of the life they have, especially with the climate change that has affected them so strongly. I really hope you've enjoyed today's episode, even if it's a smaller one, and you've had a small image on the lifestyle of Bronze Age people. And I've, I've been able to introduce you to this, and you've been able to discover something about this period in history. As always, please like and subscribe, share with your friends, and I look forward to doing more episodes in the near future. And alongside that as well, if you would like to support the channel, there is also my Patreon, where you can help to support and steal some of the content I will produce in the near future. Other than that, stay safe and well, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon and sharing more of the history of this region with you.